In today's video, we're going to be opening and installing the FS10 scanner from Zebra. This is the smallest scanner in their industrial fixed scanning lineup. The first step to installing this scanner is to install the USB-C cable. After the USB-C cable has been installed, the next step is to mount the scanner into the fixture. Once the scanner is mounted into position, simply take the other end of the USB-C cord and plug it into the USB port of your laptop. Zebra's fixed industrial scanners require their Aurora software to set up and program them. This software is free and can be downloaded from Automation Distribution's website following the steps shown or the link below. With the scanner plugged in and the software installed, we're now ready to set up the new device. Simply click set up new device. That will show the FS10 device in the list. Click on that and hit setup. That will now load the default settings for that scanner. We'll leave the settings as default for now and create a new job. This allows you to apply a name and then also job specific notes. For this one, we'll call it Scan Hard Drive. And create that job. Now that we've started our new job, we'll begin setting up this job. First, we'll set the trigger. In this instance, we're going to use a continuous trigger. Next step will be to tune the scanner. Zebra has a very nice barcode auto-tune which unlike a lot of standard auto-tunes it actually seems to work. So we'll put the device underneath the scanner and turn on live view so that we can see where our object is being placed. It's a little bit difficult to see with the standard tuning, but we'll correct that now with the auto-tune. As you can see, the auto-tune cleaned up the image very clearly so that we can see all the text and barcodes nicely. We'll leave it in live mode for time being. Now that the scanner itself and the focus is set, we'll move to capture in an image. So we've captured a secondary image using the little button down here in the lower right corner of your screen. And again, the image came through clear and it did detect a barcode. So we're going to move to building the job at this point. So there's quite a few options here with regards to what barcodes we want to see. Down here, you can see it found a code 128, a single barcode. We'll, uh, we'll change that and open up the number of barcodes that it has the ability to read. So if you look at symbologies, Initially, we'll select all symbologies. It'll read any symbology that's picked up on the hard drive. There's another option under many codes, which allows it to read as many codes as it needs. So in this instance now, with that setting turned on, you'll see that it picked up four barcodes. 
each of the barcodes is now listed down here in the results tab. For this example, we're going to focus on the serial number barcode here, which is the furthest to the right. That is a code 128 with eight digits. We'll apply some filtering through the symbologies and codes to select only that barcode. So we'll deselect all symbologies and select only the code 128 with a discrete value of eight. You can see now that is the only barcode that becomes highlighted. So if we take a new image, we'll also find that that same barcode is discovered. After taking one more test image, we are now ready to connect and deploy the job. So if we click the connect button, this will show us several areas that we can save images for no reads and good reads. So for this instance, we'll leave the no reads checked and save them onto the device. We'll now deploy the program by clicking the deploy button in the upper right corner. This will send the program to the scanner. We can view this by the view devices tab and bring up a browser to see what the scanner is seeing by clicking on this IP address. This browser now enables us to watch what the scanner is doing. So if we go to live monitoring, we'll be able to see what the scanner sees. So if I move the hard drive under it several times, you'll see we'll get a series of reads. Because we have the barcode information set up properly in the job, we're able to read this barcode consistently. The four times that we pass the hard drive under the scanner, we've got four positive reads. Now that we've seen several barcodes pass, we're going to return to the job file and make a few edits to try and capture what a failed scan looks like. So we'll click on edit and go back to capture and we're going to change from a continuous trigger to a single shot trigger and we're going to use the device trigger. We'll leave all other build settings and connect settings the same and redeploy. By going back to the browser, which is still activated, we'll now press the trigger button several times with the hard drive barcode taped over. You will now see with the barcode taped over, we have several failed scans. I'll now remove the tape and rescan, which should show us several passes. Now that we've scanned several good and bad barcodes, we can jump back to the dashboard for an overview of what we just did. So as you can see, we've had 10 total passes and four fails, which coincides with the recent scans that we've performed. This concludes our instructional video on the Zebra FS10 scanner. Please remember to reach out to Automation Distribution for all your scanning needs. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like it, share it, or subscribe to the Automation Distribution channel.